You're eating healthy, you're doing the right things, we're balancing meal prepping and meetings, but somehow our body isn't cooperating. We're putting in all this work, we're eating clean, but the scale isn't moving. So at this point, might as well just quit and have pizza. So in this video, I'll break down how career-driven women struggle with slow results and a sluggish metabolism even when eating healthy. I'm Justin Bauer. We've transformed over a thousand successful women without giving up their favorite foods or adding endless hours of exercise to their day. And by the end of this video, you'll understand the healthy eating pitfall that ambitious women get caught in and how to fix it. So here's the deal. You may have tried the discipline approach. You may have worked with a nutritionist or a dietitian and even invested in things like the Lumen. Your kids have gifted you these healthy eating cookbooks. We've picked up a ton of stuff along the way and we think we're doing everything right. But it may feel like your body is fighting you every step of the way. And I totally get it because we have met a ton of people in the same position. So if you're a healthy eater in this spot, here's what to do. So first, let's talk about the importance of micronutrients versus macronutrients, your micros and your macros. Your micronutrients are your vitamins and minerals that generally help us prevent diseases and improve our overall well-being. Now, our macronutrients are our proteins, carbs, and fats that dictate all of our major functions, lean muscle mass, energy, hormone balancing, and these macronutrients also have the ability to change our body composition. So if we're looking to lose weight, the first priority is always macros and then it's micros. And here's why. No amount of minerals and vitamins will get our body composition to change. There are certain cases where zinc and magnesium can speed things up if someone's post-menopause, but that's only based on how solid their macronutrient foundation is. So here's how mixing this up can show up as problems. A healthy approach typically involves salads and oats and nuts and olive oil, a bit of salmon or some cauliflower turmeric soup. Everything here is high in micronutrients, but it may not be getting us closer to our macronutrient needs. And I've spoken with a ton of people in this position, they never get sick, their labs are fine, but they're 25 pounds from their goal. And that 25 pounds is actually more detrimental to their long-term health than the healthy eating is good. Now, I refer to our macronutrients as our nutrition GPS. And this can vary greatly from person to person, looking at age, body fat, hormones, how active someone is at work. And without this GPS, it's kind of like being lost in the woods without a map or a compass. We're probably moving, but the progress isn't guaranteed. And without this GPS, it is very difficult difficult to see results. So if a diet doesn't incorporate the correct levels of things like fats and proteins, we may not be set up for progress. And this can give someone who eats healthy the illusion of a slow metabolism, all because we think we're doing everything right by eating these conventionally healthy foods. Now, speaking of metabolism, there are certain foods within that that are better for your metabolism than others. Now, protein has what's known as a very high thermic effect, meaning every 100 calories of protein you eat, 20 to 30 of those calories are burned just in digestion. So simply focusing on the right details, you can begin to unlock weight loss results and begin to repair a slow metabolism. So if you're a naturally healthy eating person, you do not need to drastically change how you eat, but instead we need to change the amount of what's already on the plate and that can change things fast. Now I have been here too. Back in college, I was laser focused on my diet to keep my body fat low for gymnastics. I did organic, I did low fat, I did clean eating, and all of this stuff really started eating away at me. And after 10 months of battling this thing, I realized I was so overly focused on the quality of the foods and I completely didn't even understand that the quantity of the stuff was what really mattered. And this guy, Brandon Wynn, Olympic gymnast, he actually taught me this. So I was able to fix this overnight. I had less stress, I had less anguish, and I've never really dieted ever since. Now macros versus micros is the number one thing that needs to change if you're caught in this spot. And this is crazy, but the macros are so powerful. I have this ridiculous story I need to share. So we had a client named Lisa. She did her cheese sticks and yogurt and focused on the right stuff for dinner, but she ate McDonald's every single day and had three beers every single night and she lost 24 pounds and got off of her high blood pressure medication. Not because she had the healthiest diet and not because of all the vitamins and minerals in the McDonald's, but she was simply focused in on what leads to these major meaningful changes in your physique. And it shows you the importance of having low body fat. Now, do I recommend doing that? Not all the time. There's a time and place for burgers and cocktails but again, Lisa pushed it to the extreme, but she was focused on the right things and that's how she made it happen. Now, I do wanna leave you with a few other factors that can help you get your metabolism in gear after we have nutrition dialed in. Many healthy eating ambitious women will also have a couple fitness tweaks that they can make. Chances are we're also doing group classes and yoga and Orange Theory and that's all good, but there are a couple ways we can do things differently to get more results from our effort. So if you wanna really kick your metabolism into high gear and really improve your physique, 
physique, resistance training is where the magic happens. So even if you're eating healthy and working out, but we're not incorporating resistance training, we are missing out on your body burning calories for you, even when you're at rest. And this is a major pitfall that many driven women can fall into where we're doing all of this stuff, but we actually may be working against our goals without even realizing it. So I put together a short metabolism masterclass, PDFs, videos, and more strategies for career-driven women to lose weight quickly without sacrificing your lifestyle. So it's gonna have more details on the micros and the macros concept as well. You can get access to that down in the description. People have gone through it and they said that it completely changed how they're gonna be attacking their goals. So I highly recommend checking it out. Now, that being said, I hope this video gave you some useful insights in your goals. And if you're a career-driven woman that wants more content just like this, make sure to subscribe.